Struck by the difficulty of getting French language children's book in the area for her son, Jennifer Fulton got to work to find a solution for parents raising bilingual kids like herself. I also wanted to read him books, and we loved going to Barnes & Noble in Bethesda, and we were there almost, you know, every day of the week reading in English, and, but because I wanted him to learn French, I kept asking them, so where are your French books? Can you have a French section? And every time they said, oh yeah, we'll think about it, and eventually I just got tired of that, so I started importing them myself. Bonjour Books started in 2013 as a pop-up with 50 books. And today, it is the largest French bookstore in the entire DMV area. Conveniently located in the heart of Antique Village in historic Kensington. You know, it's just a cute little community. And for the French um, aspect of it, it's great because a lot of the the customers that we get at the store are families of the kids that are in French immersion programs in Montgomery County. You were explaining to me earlier that this was done by like the local schools, so can you tell yes, me a little bit about yes. that? I had uh, Sligo Creek Elementary School, which is one of the French immersion programs in Montgomery County. They did this poster of like the French-speaking world and all of the, um, all of the countries that speak French. March being Francophonie Month, which is a time to celebrate the French language and culture around the world. I thought this was so creative making covering the Eiffel Tower in flags. We paid a visit to this gem of a bookstore with council member Kristen Mink. Good morning. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Jennifer. I'm Jennifer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm so excited. Oh, thank you. Me morning. too. In addition to importing her books from France and Canada, Jennifer also supports local authors. As soon as I find a local author that writes in French, yes. I basically just kind of stalk them until they come here. <laughs> this is written by a local uh, woman. She's from Lebanon. Oh, I also beautiful. have things written in English on a French theme. This is uh, Liliane Milgram, who lives in Alexandria, wrote a, a story about a French painting and like a very. Oh, wow. oh so I could read this one. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Well, this is the thing. I try to have some, it's like a really highly curated se selection in English for people who walk in and they're like kind of, oh, I don't speak French. Yeah. There's nothing for me here. And they're like, but no, yes, there is. Yes, there is. I mean, look at the riveting odyssey of one of the world's most scandalous works of art. Yes, exactly. And it is <laughs> a fantastic book. This is for everyone. <laughs> and so this is the and first you time. Have trains. I yes. just want to Oh, that. yes. Oh my gosh, the kids love the trains. Yeah, I mean, Every like time there's a toddler draw. in here, they're like, yes. <laughs> Basically, you know, the French language is an amazing, beautiful language, and that's, you know, my, I got the love for it from my father and my aunt. I loved French growing up. My dad had lived there. Um, he actually was a chemical engineer, and he was part of the Marshall Plan in Paris. Voilà, Arthur, c'est la voiture d'Arthur. Donc c'est une histoire. I just grew up speak, you know, he would kind of for fun teach me colors and numbers and songs in French. So it was like our secret language and it was my way to connect to my dad. French is also the only language, along with English, that is spoken on all continents by over 300 million speakers worldwide. And then also another hugely so popular is this series called Akisi who is written by Marguerite yes. Abouet and she's from Ivory Coast. When it came to Washington, that's when I really discovered the power of the French language as a tool to connect people together because until then I don't think I realized how many people around the world spoke French. The founders of the Francophonie organization, they said that, you know, out of the rubble of colonialism emerged, they, they realized they had this tool uniting around the French language. People from, you know, Muslim, Christian, yeah. all the different cultures, yeah. such a wide swath of people. French immersion schools in the area rely on their partnership with Bonjour Books to offer a well-rounded collection to their students. You know, people are used to the Scholastic Book Fair in English, so we've kind of been the, you know, the French version of the Scholastic Book Fair for a lot of schools, and we come in and have, you know, tables filled with French books, and it's, it's just like a big book fest. And it's nice because, you know, it helps get exposure for the, the store, and we get sales, but we always give back to the school, so they're fundraisers, so it's kind of like everybody, everybody wins. Okay, let's see, can you show me some of the children's books? Sure. The kids that are just learning to read in French, um, we've got all these oh, basic, wow. basic books. 
Caillou. Monsieur Caillou. <laughs> Do you have kids come in who spoke, speak English as their first language, but their parents are having them learn yeah, French, and exactly. then this is where they come? Yeah. Okay, so Pete the Cat is now Pat le, Pat le Chat. Pat le Chat. <laughs> <laughs> He's never been classier. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of support for Spanish wherever you go. Like any bookstore you go to, you find a decent Spanish selection. You know, there's nobody, there's nobody that's helping people that want the French. Council member Mink picked up a few books for her kids. I gotta pick something up for council member Kate Stewart. And district four council member Kate Stewart. She was formerly the mayor of Tacoma Park and now she sits on the county council. So uh, the Tacoma Park Library is a customer. We, we, we ship them French books. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank Merci you. beaucoup. Très bien. Très bien. <laughs> All right, Councilmember Stewart, we got you covered. <laughs> See you next time. Thank you. Thanks. To learn more about Bonjour Books' hours of operation or to shop online, visit their website. Reporting from Kensington, I'm Mershai Sahalou.